Like I said, I was a baton twirler. My teacher had informed my parents of this organization that had come about and thought it would be more of a challenge and something I'd feel more interested in. My mom worked at train company, as did Dave Dummer, one of the founders of the Corps. And he had been going around to some people in train company if they, to ask them if they thought they might have children that might want to be involved. When I was in the Corps, the members were largely from the immediate La Crosse, Holman, Onalaska area. And there was maybe a couple members from Madison and maybe one or two members from Milwaukee. I didn't know, I didn't know anything. I didn't know what a drum corps was. Um, at that point, I didn't know the difference between a snare drum and a tenor drum. I mean, I knew nothing. I, I didn't know how to hold a stick. And I showed up at the Blue Stars uh, open rehearsal with my drumsticks, and they took one look at me and said, oh, we don't let girls play drums. You're not strong enough to carry a drum. Here's a bugle. In 64, 65, you had to be so tall, certain height, to be a flag twirler or a flag bearer. I didn't make that height. I was always too short. So they put the shorter girls on the rifle back then. And of course, my family of four boys, all of us were in the Corps at the same time. And mom and dad followed the Corps around. And dad was on the board of directors. He was the treasurer. My favorite music out of all Blue Stars? I can't pick, because I like it all. The old era would either be First Federal March, or it would be South Rampart Street Parade. Back when it was VFW Nationals and Legion Nationals, there was a strict tempo you had to adhere to when you were marching. And we pushed that boundary a lot faster with the first federal, the opening of First Federal March. It just, just knocked your socks off because of the speed of the drill and the speed of the, the instruments playing, and it was just a great thing.